they are not necessarily listening to us as political leaders. They are not getting vaccinated for other reasons, perhaps. And that brings us here today. It's a new way to attempt to inspire trust in those hesitant to get the COVID-19 vaccine as the province shifts away from super sites to a community level approach. The vaccines are our best way through this pandemic. Premier Gertzen announced an investment of nearly $14 million to the healthcare sector to allow for more one-on-one -on -one patient to doctor time, stating those who are vaccine hesitant are more likely to listen to a doctor they know and trust over a politician. Physicians and pharmacists will be able to develop their own strategies to connect with patients in their homes and communities, building on their local knowledge. To every Manitoban who has not been vaccinated yet, I have a simple message for you. Doctors are here to help. The funding will allow physician offices to develop a roster of their patients who are not fully immunized and support outreach to have those patients come in and have a conversation about their concerns. As physicians, we take the concept of informed consent very seriously. And every medical intervention that we do requires a patient's consent, and that includes the vaccine. We're here to help each and every Manitoban make an informed decision and we ask the opportunity to discuss your concerns before you make a final decision. The funding will be used to cover administrative costs and physician fees connected to the outreach, coordination and visits. The latest numbers from the province show that 76% of the 66 new COVID-19 cases announced in Manitoba on Tuesday are unvaccinated and six of the seven patients currently in ICU with active COVID-19 are also unvaccinated. We're calling on this PC government once again to target their efforts in the Southern Health region and other parts of Manitoba that are still lagging when it comes to vaccine uptake. Gertzen was asked about Southern Manitoba's vaccine hesitancy. He says there is resistance across the province, not just in the south, and asks that those who are hesitant partake in conversations with a doctor. And if they still choose to go against vaccines, do so respectfully. The pandemic won't last forever, but the memory of our behavior might. And we have to do better and we have to be better. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.